Hi, my friends from Sweden, from south of Skåne. And uh, you see, there is no snow. No snow. And uh, in some parts of Sweden, there is snow, but not here. So today, oi, I will tell you the story about one girl here in Sweden. She lives here in Sweden. Um, she had a cat, small cat, I mean like young cat, uh, about one year here. He was, he is, and recently uh, she took two more cats. Uh, and uh, this is a story about her life, a little bit about her life, but mostly life of her cats. So I will clean and I will speak with you, because I know that you like to see how I clean. So, and uh, I put it here because uh, plastic, because everything is falling down and um, I mean that water and it can be destroyed and it is again uh, money, money, money. So today I uh, made eggs also for breakfast. I just had breakfast and uh, so there are two more eggs. So and uh, maybe you will get imagination from this video about uh, having animals here in Sweden and uh, so, very often, I already told you that very often people in Sweden, they really uh, take it serious, uh, animals, because um, in many countries, people do not go to that, or they think that um, cat is just an animal, yes, cat is an animal, but um, it is a personality. It has a soul, and you know, if you remember what personality is, I, my, I made Sophia sage in Sweden, for in English. Uh, so that they have a, a future, past, and present. So personality can differ these uh, things. Um, do you see me good? My kitchen. Uh, and. So you, you should treat cat very well, of course, because cat, he gives you all his life, all his heart. What does the cat have to give to you? All his heart, all his life. So this girl that I'm speaking about, actually it's a lady, not already a girl. Uh, she had a kitten and a nice uh, kitten, I wanted to say polite. <laughs> And um, she bought him uh, for very small money, like for ten dollars. She came to one farm, and usually kitten cost about four hundred dollars. But because it's on the farm, and uh, it is not farmer's business, uh, and the cat is not so much a domestic, so his mama lives in the field outside. Uh, so that's why so cheap. And uh, this type. Of cats that a mama, mama, papa do not live in apartment or in a house. Uh, I don't know. I would not take because they are not. Um, why we take a cat? For example, my cats uh, when I was small, we lived in a house, and uh, they were in the forest much, but still they were sleeping in the bed, and they were allowed to get into the house and. Uh, they slept where they wanted, and they did actually <coughs> in the house, whatever they wanted. And uh, this cats mostly that are parents are not, their parents are not allowed to come inside. They are sometimes wild, and they do not sleep in the bed, and they are not so much communicative. So anyway, her first cat was from the farm, and. Uh, to others, she also took from the farm. And um, I will tell you why I would not take one more cat or two more cats if I already had one. 
Uh, when I was a child, like 9, 10, 11, this story happened. Uh, we had a cat that lived with us in a house. He was born at our place. His mother was our cat. And um, disaster happened and uh, his mother stopped living with us and his other brothers, sisters, cats also. So we decided to take one more cat from a side. My parents decided. And uh, we took, of course, a kitten, a girl. She was gray, straight gray, striped gray, and a small kitten, one month. And uh, something was very problem with her. Uh, she did not grow enough. So when she was about a year, she still was very small. She still looked like she was half a year. So something was wrong and she did not grow enough. So other cats grew enough. Um, but this one was very small. And then even she was a kitten, uh, she was uh, very small. I just looked time not to speak so much. Uh, so, and that uh, big cat that we already had, when she grew, he became jealous. You know that cats can become very jealous. And uh, you could see it in his eyes. And some people think that animals are not so clever and they cannot think too much. But uh, people who live with animals for a long time Actually, it is not so much true. So also I wanted today <coughs> to show you this um, this one. That's very good. And this one, unfortunately, I had to throw away soon. So my friends, it's almost over. So it's very nice. This one is very nice. So, my friends, um, he started to be jealous and um, he decided to get rid of this small cat. So, our cat that already lived with us did rather horrible thing. Very horrible. Very, very horrible. Uh, he took her to the forest. And it was uh, May, it was already warm. And uh, for me to go home, I had to take a road uh, till the bus stopped. Um, and it was a road through the Skogen, Swedish forest, forest. Maybe five minutes through the forest, five, six minutes through the forest. Uh, so I was walking that road from the bus. And I heard that terrible crying of the cat. Meow, meow, it was absolutely terrible, terrible cry. And I decided to go to the forest. I a little bit took a side and went in the forest to have a look who was it. What happened? And it was our small cat living in a rather high... <clears throat> on the pineapple tree, she was there sitting and she was shouting terribly, she was frightened and I asked her to come down and I took her and we came home successfully and um, everything was good. It was like about two, three minutes from our house she was. So not far actually, but she was so frightened, so scared that she could not go down herself. And my friends, what do you think? Do you think he uh, wanted to leave uh, everything like it was? No. Our cat made another plan and he took her to the forest. Uh, we have seen how he was speaking with her, something to her ear. He came to her and was speaking something to her ear. 
and um, yes, he took her second time to the forest and it was over. So we never saw her again. And that is why I, now with my experience, would not ever take a second or third cat home. Uh, because after that uh, experience, what I had, I would not do that. Uh, probably here, anyway, it doesn't matter how many cats you can have in an apartment. Maybe there is no forest. It is a town, Malmö, or city, I don't know, for me it's town. Uh, for many Swedish people it is city. They think it is very big. So it depends also how you see things. And uh, so my friends, um, having that experience, um, no, no, I would not take such a risk. Ah, my friends, uh, what else? I wanted to show you. Sorry, you might like that video. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show you several days ago. I mean that um, I have done it, uh, not several days ago, I have done it, I have done it yesterday evening, but um, I was cooking, cooking, cooking several times in oven, uh, but I didn't show you. And yesterday I made this uh, cake here in this form. And I decided for some time uh, not to cook because it is very sweet, rather much sugar. For some time I decided not to cook um, something because it's uh, not good. You know, my friends, uh, by the age... We are becoming insulin resistant, our body, so it happens with everyone. And uh, to have sugar diabetes is, believe me, it's uh, not a good story. Так, I took alcohol. I showed you already, but... So anyway... Four dollars this alcohol, uh, 600 milliliters. Cost uh, four dollars. I I order it home. I don't know how much it is in drugstore. And uh, this one he also rather often not clean. And I showed you I I have this uh, steam steam. Uh, Oh, it's not going so well. Yeah, something is wrong with this. <coughs> Steam cleaner, I forgot how it's called. Bosch. I think I know Bosch. So this is, I have to clean once in like 3-4 days and it is always like, uh, because we cook. I know some people do not like to clean and they actually maybe don't care how everything looks. And I know that, uh, I told you already, Many times, some people do not change the bed for several weeks. And before I was thinking that only ladies do not like to clean. I mean, ladies that are busy. But actually, I met, when I moved uh, here, I met some ladies that were not... Uh, working hard, but still, 
they didn't clean and even if they didn't want to clean they had the possibility to hire someone to hire um, uh, to hire person that they'll clean for them but still they didn't so Oh, I continue my friends, it might be in my next video. I continue cleaning. Now I'm a bit tired. Oh, thank you very much for listening to the story about cats. And you have a different point of view about cats. Please let me know. It was you, Alexandra from Sweden. Bye bye.